Hi right, guys, today we're chatting a little bit about bait preservation again and I want to chat to you guys about traveling with bait. In South Africa we travel long distances to our fishing destinations and often we pack our bait boxes early morning or the evening before, travel six to eight hours to our destination and by the time you get to your destination the last thing you want is your bait to be defrosted and soft. So just a few little tips, so if you're not traveling with a mobile deep freeze, and how to preserve your bait. All right, so the first thing I do is I lay in my bait box with newspaper at the bottom. So for me, the way I see it and the purpose of this is the first thing to keep the cold in from the bottom, because if your bait box is sitting on, on a hot vehicle or on the concrete or wherever, so that's just another little layer to protect the heat from coming through. And the second is to protect your bait from moisture. So if there's a bit of ice or something that defrosts, that newspaper will absorb it and it won't run onto other bait and help it defrost. All right, so I packed it with newspaper and I made sure there's no air pockets in there. It's a very important thing to get rid of those air pockets. And then I'm gonna go to the next step. That's my bait itself. So I'm gonna take my bait and all be in packets of three or four, mackerel, red eye, choco, whatever it is, and wrap them individually with newspaper and pack it in the bait box. All right, so here we've got a few mackerel. It's in plastic already, so I'll make sure there's no air in it. Grab newspaper, and I'm gonna wrap this individually as well. And then I'm gonna wrap it nice and tight. Make sure there's no air in there. So there's quite a lot of newspaper, and then I'm gonna put it in the bait box. So there's no air between the bait box and your bait. And then we do exactly the same with the rest of our bait. So get another packet here. I'm going to grab some newspaper, open it up, and the same process. Wrap it up nice and firmly, fold the ends over, so that bait's nicely wrapped, and pack it in the bait box. Alright, so you carry on doing that until you've got all the bait you want to take with you, and preferably you want that bait box nice and full to the top with bait and then you can seal it. But if you're only taking, you've got a smaller bait box but you can't fit all your bait in a small bait box and there's gaps, I've got a little trick that works very well for me. So you've got these big air gaps in your bait box. So I take newspaper and I actually make little balls of newspaper. And I just shove it in the bait box to fill it up. Because where there's air, there's opportunity for, for the bait to defrost. So what I like to do is take all those gaps of air out by just shoving newspaper in there and get this bait box nice and full. And make sure there's no air in the box. Right, so the next thing I do is take one more piece of newspaper and I just want to seal the whole top of the bait box. As a, if there was a little gap or something that I missed, that'll close it off nicely. So that's nice and firm, hardly any gaps in there, and it's nicely sealed. So after I've done this, I'm going to take the lid and squash it on there and make sure it's nicely sealed. So there goes our lid, get all the air out. Alright guys, so that's our bait box packed nice and firmly um, with all the newspaper in. So for a short little trip, I'd say two to six or seven hours, that's perfect. The bait will stay frozen, it won't defrost, and when you get to your destination, it'll be, still be nice and firm and good for use. But if you're doing a very long trip where the bait box is going to be out for at least 24 hours before you can use it, a little trick that I use is to actually just take some tape and tape the bait box closed. Now that just seals the edges of the lid here and just preserves the bait for many more hours to keep it nice and frozen. So I just take some tape. All right, so you can put a lot of tape on there and you seal it nicely and make sure no air comes into the bait box. All 
Right, so seal it nicely. Make sure the tape is nice and firm. There's no air in it. And with your bait box sealed like that, with our newspaper inside, wrapped nicely, no air, this bait should be good for at least 24 hours. So guys, that's just a little tip when you're traveling with bait. I hope it really helps you next time you travel and keep it baked nice and frozen.